Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Frankie Sausen here, and uh, make my first. Well, actually, this is what well, this can actually be considered as the preview video of my first actual around the town video that I'm actually making. And uh, this video, this episode will include uh, part of this night walk, uh, me watching. Uh, let's see. Be watching uh, Great American Bash pay per view. I'll show you a little clip of me watching it anyway. And uh, also include this weekend's uh, Blues Fest. And also it'll include uh, possibly, don't know for sure yet, but uh, I hang out with my buddy uh, Brian Mix. So I'll tell you what, we get more footage and whatnot. Uh, we'll see you. I'll see you wherever I'm at. Going to be at next. <laughs> Look, very first car that's uh, coming my way. Yeah, basically, you know, here in Thief River, there it gets pretty quiet at night, you know. And I live over here where I don't know if you can see, but I'll show you here. This is uh, there's a car that went by anyway. But I live right next to the uh, Northland College or whatnot. See over there, way over there. I don't know how well you can see it on that, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, sometime in another episode, I'll show you the radio station that I work for, uh, or that I volunteer at uh, on a weekly basis for Pioneer Night Pro One, a station I've been a part of for, well, it'll be four years in February, so. Uh, but uh, we'll see you wherever I'm at next, and uh, all right. <laughs> ah, here we go. This place. The famous, famous bridge, kind of. Well, I don't really know how famous it is, but it's, it's. Uh, I know that I drive on it every day, just about when I go to work. Anyway, can can you imagine how many times this uh, bridge has been driven on and, and hasn't collapsed yet? Unbelievable. Not that we'd want it to collapse, but uh, oh, I mean, look at it. I mean, it looks pretty old. It looks pretty rusty. But it's, I don't know, I don't know how well you can see that, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. See my shadow over here. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing, you know. Thief River is a pretty interesting town. I mean, there's, there is a lot to do. I come from a small town of Greenbush, Minnesota, where there really isn't a whole lot to do. That's kind of why I left, but I, you know, nothing against the town. If you can see way over here, I don't know, I'll have to maybe zoom in. There we go. See that little Indian statue? You can't really see that well, but it uh, yeah, represents the park that I live by. So, uh. well, here's an interesting place Sanix. I've done many, I've shopped here many times at Sanix here in Thief River. If you look here, you can see real well. I can't, so I gotta stop real quick. I still can't see it, but uh, well, this car is coming. But it says gas right here at Thief River, or at least for this station, anyway, is $3.59. $3.59 a gallon. Or at least it's not four bucks a gallon. Uh, you, know, you know, that's always a good thing, but I guess we're so excited because every time gas goes down a little bit, you know, we. Celebrate! I'm like, oh my God, it's it's 3.50 a gallon! Yay! You know, I mean, a year ago we were like, oh Jesus, 3.50 a gallon! Oh, wonderful! Oh crap! You know, another way for people to screw government to screw us or whatever. High gas prices, but you know, it's all right though. You know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful night here. And as I continue my night walk, we're headed to uh, Payton Square, no, Payton Main, at the Thief River Gas Station. I'm going to get myself, I think, some pop or something. But, uh, see you there. Or see you at the next location. <laughs> Take five. I was known as Earl's. Earl's Market. Uh, actually, it's a convenience store. Uh, I kind of said it earlier in my little video or whatever that I made, but uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's a gas station. Another one. Plus a movie rental store. It's alright. Got lots of traffic all of a sudden. Or something must be going on. Fire or something. Hmm. <laughs> Glad I caught that, huh? <laughs> You know, earlier I was saying how oh, the town's normally dead, right? Well, I guess, I guess maybe now there's some action. <laughs> Who knows? Well, we're almost to, almost to uh, Pageant, Maine, and almost ready to get my uh, pop here. I don't know what the heck was going on earlier. Freaking, must be uh, somebody must have called the EMT or something, or somebody must be sick or something, or hurt. Had a police car. Oh, that was weird. Had a police car and then had a fire or ambulance drive by. So that's crazy. <laughs> if I see any more stuff, I'll definitely get it on video. Ah, for a pilot, just I tell you this. I think this will be a a pretty fun video. I I, I think, and I hope everybody's enjoying it. Hopefully, it's not too boring. But uh, still got a long way to go. So enjoy. Well, here it is, Maine and Maine, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and go get something to eat. Get something to eat, probably get something to drink, of course. Get a couple, I don't know, I'm going to get a couple of honey rolls and honey buns. So, whatever that is over there, oh, that's Richard over there. The car over there? This car right here? Oh, that's Richard. Oh, that was good stuff. Oh, I went inside San X and I kind of don't really allow video cameras over there, so I figured I'd just take a quick second shot or whatever of me enjoying a honey bun. You know, <laughs> actually pretty good. I come down to the uh, Senex, or I don't even know why I keep calling Senex, Bankton, Maine. I've been coming down there for quite a while, you know, on my, every time I go for a walk or whatever, you know, and I make it a habit anyway. <clears throat> I used to go down a cup and go, which now is a meat shop. Used to be, no, actually used to be a, a 7-Eleven back in the day, so, but, because they shut down, now I had to go all the way to pay and pay it. But it was alright. So let's figure it out, let you know. Looks <laughs> like it's kind of busy over here. This is that place that I was talking about earlier about that I used to go at and hang out with, hang out before uh, it closed down. This place is now known as Mike, Michael's Meats. It's a meat place, but uh, used to be known as, back in the day, about 10 years ago, it used to be known as uh, 7-Eleven, and then eventually come and go. But uh, now, it's a, now it's a deli place. I'm yet to be inside there, but you know, uh, as soon as I get a chance to go inside, uh, give you guys a tour of uh, what it looks like now. 
I suppose I could have did that other way, I suppose, though. Now that I think about it. God, am I an idiot. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my night walk, anyway. Nothing special, but eventually, like I say, uh, things will get better or whatever, but... Uh, uh, for now, uh, it's the end of part one, but uh, stay tuned for part two, which will explore my, one of my jobs, or at least my paid job anyway, as an arcade attendant. I'll give you a tour of the arcade of some of the things we got over here. And then also uh, uh, watching some of the Great American Bash DVD that I got. I just came out on DVD. And then uh, the Blues Fest. That's what we got going on this weekend, so... Uh, stick around, more Frankie Slauson show still to come.